Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study measuring weight in the customary system using ounces and pounds and tons. And I intend this lesson for about fourth grade. And I wrote here the three units we use in the customary system. Ounces for measuring small weights, light things, pounds and then tons. Tons are for very heavy things like cars maybe. And these are the conversion factors so that 16 ounces makes a pound and 2000 pounds makes a ton. It's called a short ton to distinguish it from the metric ton. Okay. And here's also a list of ballpark weights so that you can get an idea of how much is an ounce, a pound and so on. Though really students need to be using these units in their everyday lives to, to become familiar with them. A sparrow. If I had a sparrow on my shoulder, about one ounce. Uh, not very much, okay? A tomato. Here's a typical tomato. About three ounces, okay? Apples would be four ounces, maybe. Bigger ones, even five and six. Mathy, five ounces. What is it, Mathy? Oh, he's saying that he weighs 15,000 pounds. He's saying it is seven and a half tons. But Mathy, look, look Mathy, here's the scale. I just weighed you before this video. Just a little while ago and you were a little over five ounces, Mathy. Stuffed animal. Okay, here I have some school books. I wrote school books weigh about one to four pounds. Could be even more for some really heavy high school books. This book is about one and a half pounds. This is a little heavier, bigger. But it's about two and a half pounds. This book, my math mammoth book, was pretty close to one pound, not very much. It is soft cover, okay? And then a newborn baby, typically seven pounds, but some bigger babies are eight or nine pounds, even ten pounds, some of them. First grader could be around 45 pounds, but that can vary. Some are more, some are less. Me, I weigh usually a little over 120 pounds, so you can think of that as a ballpark figure. I'm about 120 pounds. Adult man, 170 pounds, but some weigh over 200, some can only weigh 150. It varies, of course. A woolly mammoth, 6 to 10 tons. Okay, and like Matthew said, he claims to weigh 7.5 tons. Or, if we multiply that by 2,000, 7.5 times 2,000 becomes 15,000 pounds. Now, let's go on and do some conversion exercises. In fourth grade, students already can start converting between these units. First of all, five pounds and three ounces into ounces. How many ounces is it? So you have to think that one pound is 16 ounces, and so five pounds. Five times 16. That you can multiply in parts. Five times 10 and five times six. Okay, five times 10, 50. 5 times 6, 30, so a total of 80 ounces. And 3 more, 83 ounces. 10 pounds, 11 ounces. Okay, this is easy. 1 pound is 16 ounces, 10 pounds, 10 times that. 160 ounces plus 11, so 171 ounces. And then the other way around, 38 ounces. How many pounds and ounces? Now we need to think about the 16. How many 16s are in this 38? 16 and 16 is 32. So 2 pounds. 2 pounds makes the 32 ounces and then 6 ounces left over. Again, 51 ounces. Think of the 16, 16, 16. How many 16s can you get into 51? 16 and 16 is 32. One more 16 is 48. So 3 pounds makes 48 ounces and then three ounces left over. Now we have tons and pounds into pounds. First we multiply here three tons times two thousand makes six thousand pounds plus those so six thousand one hundred sixty pounds. Seven thousand eight hundred pounds into tons into tons and pounds. Okay think of those two thousand pound increments how many of them are here and we can figure out that 3 times 2,000 would be 6,000, so 3 tons, and then 1,800 pounds left over. A tomato weighs about 3 ounces, 
about how many tomatoes are in two pounds of tomatoes. Okay, we could either change pounds here to ounces or this ounces into pounds, but obviously it is easier to change this into ounces. Two pounds, how many ounces is it? This here is two times 16 or 32 ounces. And now, how many three ounces, how many times would three ounces be in 32 ounces? For example, 10 times three would be 30. 11 times 3 is 33. That is the closest amount. So about 10, 11 tomatoes. I'm going to answer about 11. Okay, but it could be 10 tomatoes too, it, because tomatoes vary. Some of them are a little heavier. Let's go on. Mum buys a 4-pound bag of flour. And her pancake recipe calls for 10 ounces of flour. Matthew, what is it? Tickling me again. Oh, I know what it is. He wants this change to blueberry pancakes, right? Right. Well, I'll do it. Just this time. Oof. Yeah. Blueberry pancake recipe. Happy now? Calls for 10 ounces of flour. How many times can she make pancakes using that recipe and using this bag of flour? Again, we do the same thing. We change these pounds to ounces and then we can figure out the answer. Four pounds. Let's write here, 4 pounds equals how many ounces? We need to go 4 times 16. And to do it mentally, with mental math, first go 2 times 16 and then double that once more. So 2 times 16, 32. And double that, 64. 64 ounces. And if the recipe calls for 10 ounces, then from 64 ounces you can make it 6 times. All right, and you have a little bit of flour left over, but it's not enough to make the re recipe one more time. Lastly, an average car weighs about two tons. Again, this varies. Some cars are lighter, some cars are heavier. This is like an average figure. How many cars equal Matthew's weight? Okay. Who wrote this problem? Matthew? Yeah, you bet. Well, let's think of Matthew's weight as what, what he told us earlier, remember? Seven and a half tons. Matthew weighing seven and a half tons. So two tons times four would be eight tons. So about three, about four cars. About four cars. Three cars would only be six tons. It's not quite that. So four cars equals a woolly mammoth. That shows you how heavy, how massive these mammoths really used to be.